What's up guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I wanna talk about why naturals don't really have business going under 10% body fat and getting extremely shredded and staying there real long, all right? For someone that is enhanced, those things might work, kind of main gaining and slowly growing and staying in that uh, shredded physique. But if you're natural, guys, I've been prepping for my bodybuilding competition, natural, of course. I've been training naturally for over 13 years. And as I'm getting leaner, trust me it's not fun it's not a fun place to be and it's not optimal neither for your physical performance but also for your mental performance for your mental health all right as i'm doing my cardio as i'm doing my training as those carbs are dropping down i'm doing i'm in a deficit i'm getting leaner and leaner getting a bit more shredded i just finished an hour walk outside just to get my cardio done my steps done guys last weekend i was burned out I was burned out. Thank God I had my refeed meal, uh, my refeed day yesterday, which was very high in carbs. That kind of gave me back a little bit of fuel in my system. Mentally, mentally, I was exhausted. Nothing was kind of clicking. I was there to make a coffee. I was dropping the coffee on the floor and like dropping milk on the floor. And then today I woke up. It's, it's just a f vicious cycle where you get so frustrated because guys, as naturals, we're not relying on outside hormones to help us maintain our levels of testosterone. As we're getting leaner, as we're putting that stress on our body to get shredded, to do the cardio, the, the calories are dropping. Trust me, your testosterone levels will take a hit. Your hormones will take a hit. Your mental health will take a hit. And your performance at the gym too, all right? So as your testosterone level drops, this means that you just your testosterone levels drop. That's like the most important hormone for us, all right? Yes, it helps us as a gym push more weight, but also it helps you be more uh, full of energy, all right? Enthusiastic, positive, all right? That's why when people have a low testosterone level, they get depressed. Well, that's what we're doing to ourselves when we're staying so long shredded as naturals, all right? Because also it's a stress that we're putting on our body. Stress means cortisol level are high. So you're in this fight or flight mode all the time. Yesterday, I got so angry at one of my clients just because he came late, all right? That's not me. That's not me. Usually, I'm always like laughing and I'm like, hey, no worries. I know there's no parking. And the other day, I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? But that's what happens. That's what happens. You, you kind of your mind, you're, you're like running on very low energy, very low battery, and you wanna stay lean, you wanna stay shredded, thinking that, hey, I'm, I'm main gaining, but it's not even the truth because you're depleting your muscle glycogen like crazy. As a natural, you don't hold on to muscle glycogen as easily as someone that is enhanced. So you wanna stay lean, well, guess what? Your muscle glycogen are empty, all right? Uh, you're probably breaking down muscle tissue, your cortisol level are up. You're not in an optimal state to build muscle to be at your strongest, all right? So stop trying to chase being lean as a natural, super lean. I'm not talking about 15, I would say ideally 15% body fat. But what I'm saying lean and shredded is those seven, eight percent body fat year long as a natural, you're not doing yourself a favor, trust me. Trust me. And you might say, well, I'll get used to it. I'm hardcore, I'm not gonna get fatigued. It's not just about that. Is about also that it's not ideal for performance at the gym, all right? You're just not at your optimal uh, state of performance, all right? Because even if you don't feel the stress, your body is still stressed. Your body is still in starvation mode, all right? Your muscle glycogen are still depleted. So your body will have to use another route to get that energy. And a lot of times when you're that lean, it means breaking down muscle tissue, all right? to increase that blood sugar, to give you that energy so you can lift at the gym. Your pumps are not gonna be the same. It's, you're just gonna go in that vicious cycle where you're, you're, you're also gonna mess up your metabolism. That's just another huge point, all right? You're messing up your metabolism. I have a friend that every time he's, he goes that route and then he stops, get, he stops losing fats. His goal is just getting those craziest abs. But next thing you know, his metabolism slows down because he thinks that he's in starvation mode. So now he's eating barely 15, 1400 calories a day and yet not losing weight and doing two hours of cardio because that's what happens when you dig yourself in that pit and you eat less and then you do more cardio, the metabolism slow down, but then you gotta stay leaner. So you gotta eat even less. Man, get out of this guys. It's called bodybuilding, not body shrinking. And as a natural, find that sweet balance. Stick to those 10, now 
12 to 15 percent 12 to 15 percent for some people would be 12 if you're more of a hard gainer if you're more like me and gain weight easily 15 percent body fat you'll be looking at your best feeling at your best performing at your best at the gym and trust me uh, it's the most attractive body at 15 percent body fat all right so that's pretty much it guys i'm taking i'm making that video because now that i'm getting ready for my bodybuilding show uh, i'm feeling it i'm feeling the stress i'm feeling uh, yesterday my refeed meal it's like if i soon as i started eating more carbs it's like if my body was dry and absorbing some water and i just couldn't stop like i want more carbs and more carbs i'm like wait a second why am i feeling that way all right so you, want to, you don't want to feel that way especially if you're not competing why would you do that why would you go under eight percent to see a bit more veins on your on your lower abdomens not worth it that's just for this video guys don't mess up your hormones a lot of people try to do things and they pay for them years later because then they mess up their metabolism they messed up their hormone they go into eating disorder that's not where you want to be see you guys in the next one ciao